Hey guys, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. If you like fragrance-related content like this, make sure you show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Like the video if you like content like this and click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. So this video is pretty cool. I'm going to show you how I review my fragrances and how I test out my fragrances. This is a, a poll I did a while ago. People wanted a video like this. This is a very difficult type video to do because my experience in fragrances is probably better than a lot of other people out in the world. I've been doing it for almost five years on YouTube. So I'm going to show you my methods on how I test out fragrances and how long I see a fragrance last on my skin and projects. Please keep in mind that everybody's skin chemistry is very different. Some people have dry skin. Some people have moist skin. It all depends. So a fragrance might last longer on your skin and might last lesser on my skin or vice versa. The fragrance that I'm going to be reviewing today, I did a first impression two years ago when it came out. I got myself a big bottle because I really like this fragrance a lot. This is from the Chanel Less Exclusive. This is Chanel 1957. So this is Auto Perform Concentration. And this fragrance here, I'm going to spray it on my skin and spray it on my neck and let you know how many sprays I do and go out run some errands and let you know how long it lasts on my skin throughout the day. Now the performance might have changed from two years ago because it came out in 2019. Now we're in 2022, so let's go. So here I'm going to do about uh, five sprays on my neck. So here we go. Magnetic cap. Here we go. One behind the ear. Here, right in the neck. One on the side, one on the side. So what I do with that, I do about five sprays of this fragrance here. One behind this ear, one behind this ear, one here and two on the sides. Just enough spray so when people walk by me, they can smell me from the left, the right, in front of me, so on and so forth. And if you want, you can do six. You can do one in the back. So when people walk past you like that, they can smell behind you too as well. And I will do a few on my wrist. So basically on my wrist, I do about three sprays or four sprays on my wrist so I can detect how long it lasts on my skin throughout the day. So I go like this and like this to smell the fragrance to see if it's still on my skin after several hours of wearing the fragrance. Hey guys, so I just got in my car. I'm gonna go charge my Tesla car. I'll show you guys my car a little bit. I didn't really wanna do a review because I feel like some people may not wanna watch it, but I'll talk a little bit about my car and I gotta go to the mall and see if they have any new fragrances out, but I'll test out my fragrance on my skin. So I just sprayed a few minutes ago, so it's around two o'clock now. Um, so I did about four sprays on the wrist and I did about six sprays on my neck. It's a fresh fragrance so you can wear multiple sprays on it. You can go a little trigger spray happy. It has a freshness about it. It has a lot of musk and aldehydes in the fragrance as well. There's some bergamot freshness in the opening. So you can wear this dressed up or dressed down. It's a really nice scent. It's not a heavy pr projection beach fragrance. This is something that it's about that hour and a half uh, fragrance projection where people can catch whiffs of the fragrance, you know, from maybe about half a half an arm's length, but it smells really good. Very nice, classy Chanel fragrance. So now I'm going to show you where I go charge my Tesla at, show you my car a little bit, show you some features, and we'll go around the mall and let you know how long the fragrance lasts on my skin. So welcome to vlog six. So this is low battery, 27 miles left. I'm gonna go to Tesla charging station now, I'll show you how I charge my car. So here's the timing, 24 miles is charging to how much it costs. It's off electricity, so keep that in mind. 55 minutes remaining. So just showing you the, how it charges. Um, they have display, which is pretty cool. Different display, the lighting, all that. Um, they have the navigation. So it's pretty cool. And you can open up the front trunk or the back, or unlock the car. So the, the front trunk is just another trunk and the back is a trunk. There's no engine, it's all electric under the bottom of the car. These are the temperature where you can change the temperature from cold to hot, turn the heat on, you can heat the seats up. 
So hit the button here and heat the seats up, which is pretty cool. And you can stream music if you want to, which is pretty cool. I have Bluetooth as well, Spotify, so on and so forth. Here's the cameras, different cameras in the front, the back and the sides. So this is the energy that uses, how much energy I use for miles. Pretty cool. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. So the year is 2022. We have a brand new release from Gucci. Here we have the brand new Gucci Guilty Parfum Porom. Now, a couple years ago in 2020, we had the Eau de Parfum Porom. On my way here to King of Prussia Mall. Hey guys, so on my way here to the King of Prussia Mall. So I'm gonna check out Nordstrom, see if they have any new fragrances, Chanel and Macy's. I wanna try a new Dior on Sport 2020 if they have it. I got a half an hour or so before the Dallas game comes on, but you can still smell the fragrance. Um, it's getting closer and closer to the skin um, for me. But like I said, the projection is good for the first hour and a half. And then after that, it does settle. Uh, closer to the skin now for me um the longevity is could be different for each person so keep that in mind for me it's in that five to seven hours on the skin so you're going to get between five to seven hours depending on how many sprays you do i overspray it because it's a freshy kind of fragrance fresh laundry kind of clean fragrance so you can't go wrong with that you might get little hints of leather but mainly it's more fresh laundry clean very musky type of fragrance so Right now, my skin is getting close to this skin, but I enjoy the fragrance. You know, if you really like a fragrance, you just wear it. It doesn't matter if it doesn't perform as well. If you love the fragrance, you just wear it because you can always reapply it if you buy a bigger bottle and you love the fragrance. I think I've told many subscribers and my friend Jerome the same thing. Um, when you buy fragrance, you just wear it and you love it. It don't matter if it doesn't perform as well. If you like it, rock it, overspray it, and just be happy wearing that fragrance.
doing? Hey guys, I just got back from the King of Prussia Mall. You saw some new fragrances. I got some first impression videos because I got samples of stuff. So I'll do first impression videos in the next couple of days. Maybe I'll have Kelly on the channel as well. But as far as this goes, uh, Chanel 1957. I love this one a lot. Like I said, it's fresh. It is kind of clean. The outer heights make it really nice. It is a slightly powderiness in it, but mainly this is fresh kind of laundry type of fragrance. And I like this one. You can spray it and go. I mean, you can overspray this if you want. It's not going to choke anybody out. It's a moderate projection. It's not a beast mode fragrance. Um, you can always respray this one. I got the 200 mil because I like this one a lot. And they didn't have the 75 mil available. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to wear this a lot in the spring and summer. Might be my top 10 spring list um, or summer list for designers. But I love this one a lot. And you should definitely check this out if you're in a Chanel boutique. Um, if you need somebody to talk to, I'll leave my friend's information down below. My buddy Christian from the Chanel boutique always hooks me up with uh good samples and he's a great salesman he loves his fragrances he loves beast mode fragrances and he keeps it real some ones he likes some ones he don't but i'll leave his information down below this isn't a sponsored video by chanel it's just i go to him for all my fragrance needs and he's a great salesman he has a lot of my money so definitely check out the chanel boutique um at the end of the day so if you guys like these type of vlog videos um me going out doing stuff uh leave a comment down below like the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of it i'm trying to do something different you guys want to see me out doing stuff i don't show too much of my personal life but i'm trying to open up a little bit so you guys can see my life and my girlfriend and stuff so if you do like it make sure you subscribe to the channel thanks for watching i hope you guys have a nice and safe weekend and i'll catch you in my next vlog peace